Oh. It is Thursday evening. October 6, 2022. Uh, it's about six o'clock in the evening. Six thirty in the evening. I'm back at the hospital. Um, as it turns out, that the uh, well, I'm at Huntington Hospital. It turns out that the I guess maybe the hernia broke through the mesh. Yes. Okay, that was registration. So. Yeah, everything I guess that has happened <clears throat> would have probably known better had I not um, gotten my mail stolen and I would have probably known when I got the referral last time but so much time went by and working and this thing was kind of doing weird stuff but um, yeah no I ended up having to dismiss myself from work right in the middle of uh, <clears throat> Well, actually, just shortly after lunch rush, and I told my boss, so it looks that I might have to have surgery either tonight or tomorrow morning. I don't know. I just had my ultrasound done, so I'll find out in a while when the doctor comes back, so don't know when I'm going to post, so keep in check. Love you all. <sighs> So it's Friday. <laughs> what watch, Charlie? What are you doing? It is Friday afternoon now. Wow. Oh, it's about 2.15. Oh, beautiful day, I suppose. First of all, I have a very, very serious infection where I had my surgery performed of uh, my hernia back in March if you all recall so things happen don't really know exactly what has transpired since the surgery up until today with this situation um, I almost kind of thought that maybe the the mesh gave away there may be a possibility but the doctors and the special tests are still consulting one another in fact I have another appointment with a special test to discuss about this it appears I have a very serious infection um, I have a mass um, it's pretty much it's a very very rock hard mass and, and so it doesn't feel like the hernia it doesn't feel like if if you've ever experienced or know anyone per se that has had that experience it's not soft um it doesn't feel like like one would normally have the experience of maybe trying to put it in or whatever uh they actually last night after they gave me uh some pain relief and they put a pack of ice on the area they tried to actually for the fan of heart I warn you they tried to push whatever it was back in uh, needless to say that was quite excruciating uh, a lot more painful than the first attempt several months that they were able to do when my hernia said hernia had popped out uh, this to a lot more force <laughs> Uh, more urgency very very much to no avail uh, it hurt quite a bit even through the the pain medications that they gave me and they, um, they've already given me a couple of very strong uh, <clears throat> medications and uh, it just didn't help it whatever it is just has to be looked at so I've been on uh, antibiotics all night long all morning long and all day so far and to find out if this is possible that they may remove here or maybe also a possibility that I may be transported to another facility to have this taken care of we shall see but uh, uh, 
I just, I, I know it's, to me, it's, I know this is going to sound weird, but for those of you that really know my friends and my family and stuff, I find this to be more of an inconvenience. I know, I know. But every single time, other than unless it's a scheduled day and I'm not at work, it hurts me. And it takes a lot of wind out of my sail to keep going forward, given my, my household and my living situation, as you know, with Carla and everything. So, especially every time that I'm not at home in my room and I'm somewhere else, there's that much of a greater opportunity for me being at risk of having my room broken into so though I need to have this done and have this looked at and get some rest I can't rest thinking about everything that could be going up back home so, I don't know, so. Well, I'll check in later oh it's nice out Look at that great view from uh, from up here. You see City Hall, Parsons, the church. There's Ralph's over. Ralph's is over there. Getting discharged. All right, and we are back at the crack house with the queen crackhead. That was uh, quite an adventure, my friend. <sighs> Just uh, <laughs> another air of mystery to all my, my health concerns. Look at that, full moon. It still appears to be waxing, so. The moon is a waxing. All right, my friends, I will end this. I'm home. I will post this sometime. Very unexpected, but I guess inevitable at some point because of everything that was happening down here. So it's a possibility of uh, having a hydro cell, but not where it, one would normally be located rather behind my wall. I'll put a link down uh, to the possible procedure uh, that I might be seriously very looking because it's still very much, uh, I look like a rock star on stage packing his uh, pants. <laughs> this is very stupid and uncomfortable. But anyway, uh, till next time, you folks take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but always take care of yourselves first. Love one another, trust one another, be kind to each other, help one another. Don't take today for granted or, yeah, really. Don't take today for granted or any other day thereafter. Live for the moment. Pull down your pants and slide on that ice. If you like or at least appreciate this video, hit the thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, what we're doing, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification button. Tell your friends and family about me, about us, what's going on. And, uh, yeah, well... Hopefully, I'll be back to work Wednesday, so we'll see what happens tomorrow. I am going to take it a little bit easier, but can't stop the train. I love you all. Good night, and be kind.